The Muskie opener for Ontario is in 95 days, 4 hours, 31 minutes, and uh, 31 seconds. Not that I'm keeping track or anything. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. And even though there is a lot of musky fishing to be done before the opener in Ontario, this will be the first time in two years that I will be able to fish the opener up there. And I am so excited about it. The footage we'll be taking a look at today is from our Eagle Lake trip in June of 2014. There are a few reasons I love fishing Eagle Lake in Ontario for muskies. First reason is it's where I really first gained a love for chasing muskies. I started going up there in the late 2000s with some friends of mine and have really never looked back. It is my absolute favorite destination for muskie fishing. For me, that lake is the perfect mix of numbers of fish and the potential for a really big fish. So I really enjoy chasing muskies on Eagle Lake. The second thing I really love about Eagle Lake is it's where I made my first attempts at filming muskies. I've always enjoyed watching fishing shows and with the advent of GoPros, I started to wonder if I might be able to do the same things I was seeing on TV. I started out by buying a couple GoPros and built my own system to have them in the boat with a pole uh, to catch the front and back of the boat and then put a couple other cameras scattered throughout the boat. I found out really quickly though that just capturing the footage, that's, that's the easy part. The tough part is editing. So I have a bunch of footage from those early years that I thought I'm going to capture all this footage and make all this cool video. It's a lot tougher than it seems. <laughs> And it's taken me a long time to get where I'm at. Not that what I'm doing is anything special, but it's taken a heck of a lot of time and trial and error to figure out what I've figured out doing this sort of thing. I encourage everyone to try to get a GoPro in the boat and film what you're doing because there's a lot of things that you might be able to see while you're watching that footage back that you can use to help improve your musky fishing game. I tell people all the time, it's like a football coach watching game footage. You've got all your little X's and O's. You can see what went right and what went wrong and make improvements upon that. I've made a couple of videos about how to video musky fishing. And if you have any questions about any of that stuff, please leave a comment below or send me a message on the Angling Anarchy Facebook page. And also all of those old filming videos I will put in the description below so you can click on those links and check those out if you would like to. On this trip my friend Dave Very is fishing with me as well as Jim. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen Jim in some of the older videos. So we are on Eagle Lake fishing really early spring conditions and we found a lot of the fish back in shallow bays so we're able to target them with mostly double eight bucktails. In fact, we're fishing some spots that I haven't seen fish in since because the water was so high that uh, when it came down, the, the spots are just, they just don't hold fish like they did this particular year. So this was a, a unique year and it's nice to have this documented so I can go back and look at some of these spots and sort of see how they laid out. And I can possibly, if we have another high water year, go back to some of these spots and see if they continue to hold fish. The first fish we'll take a look at is a scrappy mid 30 incher. It was in one of these spots that was tucked way back in a bay that I've, I haven't seen a fish since, but they seem to like it back there this year. This is a really cool hit. The fish comes out of nowhere, slams the bucktail, and let's take a look at that one. That's a different fish. It's different. <laughs> and significantly smaller if I made it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Now this was back before I was wearing a chest camera and if you've watched any of the videos I've made about filming, you'll know that the main reason I wear a chest camera is to capture good audio. Luckily, on this catch, there's not a lot of wind so I'm able to use the audio from the cameras that we've got set up on the uh, pole. You may have noticed in that clip that we were talking about uh, that's not the one we were looking for. We had seen a larger fish in the back end of that bay and for a split second I thought maybe that that was her that came up and hit but it was just a nice mid 30 inch fish. Very cool hit. It was it was fun to watch it come up and hit that bait. This next one is a beautiful 46 and a half inch just a tank of a muskie that came up and hit on the second turn of the figure eight. Now you'll see as I go into the figure eight the fish slashes at it. You can see the, the tail come out of the water. I was a little disappointed it didn't hit on that first turn but I just kept my cool, kept the bait moving, hung it in that top corner and it absolutely came unglued on it. Just a beautiful, heavy, springtime, 46 and a half inch Eagle Lake Muskie. That was one of the bigger fish actually that we caught that year. We ran into a ton of fish in the shallows, but we were having a hard time finding anything really big. So to capture a fish like that uh, all those years ago was really something special at the time. I hope you folks enjoy going back in time and watching some of this old footage. I really have a blast going back and as I said, doing something with it now that I'm a slightly better editor than I was back then and I feel like I can actually do something with that footage that I captured so long ago. I will be getting out very very soon. I've got plans to go lots of places this spring. Just haven't got to it quite yet with the shows and a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, just haven't had the opportunity but from here on out I will have more chances to get out and fish. If you're interested in filming I'm going to attempt to film my seminar at the Wisconsin Muskie Expo in Wausau and I will have that as a video before we get into the fresh content hopefully for the year. Fingers crossed uh, we can get out and get lucky and boat some fish and get this season rolling. Shoot me a comment hit the like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you would please, I would really appreciate it. Thank you everyone for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you oh so much, and I will see you on the next video.